Well, we have new information in the high profile beating case involving two former NOPD officers and a Hispanic male victim. A federal lawsuit has now been filed and one legal analyst says the city and NOPD could be on the hook financially. One year ago today, Jorge Gomez showed us his wounds. That's all the blood. I was, I was bleeding pretty bad. The end result of a fight with two NOPD officers outside the Mid-City Yacht Club bar. Those officers, Spencer Sutton and John Galman, were fired within hours of the incident. Police say Gomez was targeted and attacked because of his ethnic background and because the two officers questioned his military service. Now Gomez is taking legal action. His lawyer filed this lawsuit in federal court. The lawsuit says Galman and Sutton, quote, attempted to literally strip the clothes off his back and told him to go back to the place he came from. It was expected to be filed by the day before. Galman has already pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor charge and Sutton's case is still pending. Legal analyst Robert Jenkins says the city may opt to just settle this issue. There'll be something pretty simple and quick, probably. The lawsuit also alleges that the city and police department continue to, quote, employ, empower, and protect dangerous police officers like them. Gomez's lawyer in California talked about her filing. We're trying to compensate him for the traumatic event that he went through. The FBI is still investigating this matter as a possible hate crime. Sutton's next court date is in August. In a written statement, the NOPD says in part, while the NOPD generally does not comment on pending litigation matters, members of our department are expected to comply with the law at all times and adhere to the highest standards of professional conduct, whether on or off duty.